everybody, Rebecca here from Daily Wonder here to talk to you as part of our parent education series. Today's topic is verses, poetry, and song. Now we always talk about how these are kind of the elements to support the rhythm or routines in your Daily Wonder morning homeschool routine. They just can be these beautiful placeholders for beginnings, middles, and endings, and they free you up from nagging your kids when you want to, them to transition between different activities. So you can use a verse or a little melody that you know, or a rhythm of clapping with your hands, and these kinds of elements to indicate to your children now's the time where we move from this active activity to the sitting down quiet activity, maybe into story time or whatever it is. Last week, I talked to you about storytelling and how you might open your storytelling portion of your morning. And so these, these elements of poetry and verse and song can come into play in different ways. You might have a set of verses that you're going to use for a whole unit. Some of, the, some of those verses you'll use for the whole year. Some of those verses you'll use for several years. So things like your opening verse that you start every single morning with, you might use that for many, many years. Uh, the song or verse that you use to begin your story time, you might use for many, many years. And same with the verse that you choose to close your morning, your whole morning, you might use for many years. So some of those verses will be, um, you know, there might be secondary verses in your morning. You might have your opening verse and then something tr to transition into um, the movement portion of your day where you do a little bit of stretching and gathering in um, into your um, intentional movement activities, for example. And so you might select something that's just for this unit. Um, and in our Daily Wonder lesson plans, we, al we always offer you at least one verse that you could use in this regard, something that is after your opening, but uh, transitions into the rest of your learning morning. Something like, brave and true, I will be. Each kind word sets me free. I will fight for the right. I will conquer the wrong. So there you are sitting first thing in the morning, you say your morning verse that is with you for the whole year and your children come to wherever you are and then you want to transition into some kind of movement. Now that verse that I just said, and I will say again, can be done while you're stepping. The stepping rhythm is a short, short, long, fast, fast, slow. And so you're bringing some awareness into the bodies of your children as you start this portion of your day where you're going to stretch and move and gather in together. I'll say it again and see if you can imagine walking. Brave and true, I will be. Each kind word sets me free. I will fight for the right. I will conquer the wrong. And you can be walking in a circle or back and forth and your child has this rhythmic experience to kind of uh, indicate to them what kind of activity you're doing. What is the rhythm of this activity? And you're setting the tone with the kind of rhythm in the verse that you've chosen. Another way that you might use verses is something about now it's time to put our toys away, those kinds of verses, or now it is time for us to take out our books, or if there's a bit of chatter around your work table, you might use a verse or a song to quiet everybody. Things like this, rather than saying, okay, it's time to get out our books. Now everybody's too noisy, let's settle down. These kinds of words don't activate your child uh, to, to change what they're doing. So you might try some of these songs or verses that switch their brain into this kind of rhythmical thinking and get them on board in a different way. Now, we also talk about poetry. We talk about poetry in your uh, daily lesson plans and poetry is a little bit different from verses. Verses are those transitional um, routine and rhythm setting up kind of pieces and your poetry is really uh, very specific to the theme or the unit that you're working on. So you might choose a poem or one might one will be provided for you in your lesson plans that has to do with the subject that you're working on in that unit. 
perhaps in the very young grades, it's something around the seasons. Uh, and in the older grades, it's very thematic as you do geography and history and different scientific subjects. You might be saying a verse in another language, things like this. And, and so it, it embellishes the theme that you're working on and really gives a feeling for that part of um, whatever continent it is that the language is coming from or those words are coming from. It gives a feel, for example, working with different um, poetic rhythms like the the um, iambic or the hexameter or these different kinds of elements, the ode. So you would work with those themes and bring those unit specific elements that are all suggested in the unit plan and what they do is they just enliven the themes for your children to give them an experience of that. The music that, that we're suggesting, some of you are new to music, some of you are experts already. I'm somewhere in the middle and I often use the music in place of a verse for transitions. And I also like to be building skills in the children that are in front of me. So in the you know six year old kind of range, we're just beginning to uh, clapping out rhythms and understand how a melody can move up and down depending on the notes. And we're working with maybe playing the first instrument and um, working with percussion things, things like that. And in the older grades, you might be introducing an instrument to your child, like a recorder or a stringed instrument. And these are excellent times for your to work on notation and to have your child learn to read music. There's lots of ways that parents can learn it too if you're just starting. But songs, sometimes you can choose if you don't have one that's suggested to you for the theme or whether that's just one song and you're looking for something else. You can look outside, see what's happening in nature and choose a song based on that. Lots of great song books online. And sometimes in those songs, you can hear the movement in those songs. So you might have your child developing something in their physical body while you're using a song to get them to do the thing that you don't think they'll do if you tell them. For example, we're going to work on your balance. So I want you to step up here and you're going to walk along this balance beam and then when I say jump, jump, might not be as exciting as if you were to have the balance beam and a pillow at the end of it and sing the song, Oh, the trouble with this puddle is it's very hard to see if it comes up to my ankle or it comes up to my knee. If I decide to step in it, the chances are I'll get a welly full of water and my foot all wet as you jump into the pillow. So your child has heard the song and they're playing out the images that are in the song, walking along the balance beam with a final jump and you have observed their sense of balance. They, you have observed strategies for gaining balance. Do they put their arms out? Where are they looking? You have observed how their feet move. Do they turn their feet out to get balance? Do they walk on the side to get balance? Are their toes able to spread out? And when you watch them jump, you're looking to see which is their lead foot and might indicate their dominance for their foot, um, whether it's the right or the left side. So you've done all those things by singing one song and inviting your child to listen to the images and um, the movement in the song. I hope that's given you a little bit of some things to think about as you're choosing your verses for beginnings, middles, and ends, as you think about choosing your songs to create space for developing certain physical things or um, different developmental things for your child, as you choose poetry that's thematic and gives your child uh, an experience of the culture that you're working on, um, working on learning more about in your units. If you ever have questions about this topic or any other topic, you can check out all of our um, socials. We'll have the videos up and you can see if your topic is there. If not, please don't hesitate to reach out. Let us know what you're wondering because we love to have your input about what topics you would like to know more about. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.